When we humans put trauma into the skin and the flesh of Gaia and her creatures, we have to take it out. These are like tumors and abscesses on Gaia's flesh from human atrocities, wars, slaughters of humans and animals and trees and everything. We're all linked. We're all one. I kill a tree. I kill myself. So the guy who lived here for 15 years before me that I bought this ranch from cleared a ton of trees and left them piled up. Like this one. Look at that. Whole stand of birch. Only two left. Everything else was chopped down and piled up. The trauma of birch is my trauma, is your trauma, is our trauma. And was committed by a traumatized male who never got what he even needed, let alone wanted, and probably got a whole lot more that produced a level of trauma and rage that now continues to travel unchecked across this globe. But we can heal it. So let's do Ho'oponuapono, which is a Hawaiian shamanic healing practice. And it works on the basis that we are all connected. I am you, you are me. Kumba and I are one. I am one with Mullen and every tree and every, and the guy who cut these and the trees and me, we're all one. If you trace us back to source energy. So in that way, I can take the place of whichever human expression was the perpetrator. Kind of like surrogate tapping, um, but surrogate healing, I guess. So I say to this giant pile of trees, and nature, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And now what I'm imagining is a cleansing rain coming down and washing away the negative energy, the uh, trauma-based aggression that this guy held while he destroyed all these lives for no, for no apparent reason that they could see. Did he need this much pasture for his cows? Maybe he felt he did, or maybe this was a way that he vented all the trauma and aggression and anger from his life in this incarnation. So I'm calling down a symbolic cleansing shower and I'm seeing it as rainbow colored and it's streaming out of the sky and falling, not just on this pile, but every pile on this land I'm imagining the entire property. I'm extending it to the neighboring properties, to the woodlots, to the areas up on the mountain that were clear cut because they had a beetle infestation and they killed thousands and thousands of trees this fall. And I'm calling down the most beautiful rainbow rain 
from all that is. From Source Great Spirit, rain down upon this land and cleanse the anger, aggression, ignorance, rage, trauma, stupidity, cleansing, cleansing. All is one. All is part of the cycle of life. There is a time and a place for everything. And we can all take a deep breath together. All of us, all the clear cuts, all the piles on this land and the land surrounding. We can all collectively inhale as the rainbow showers down around us. <sighs> Letting it go. Letting it go. And as I'm doing that, I'm tapping on the center of my chest, my heart chakra with a loose fist. Tap, tap, tap. <sighs> Letting it go. We're sorry. Please forgive us. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so it is. Namaste. Aum. 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 That's the same tone as B. As I was walking, B came to ask me to tone again in completion of this ceremony. And we release these creatures from their trauma, from the prison of their aggression. Their souls are free to return to the land to complete the cycle, to reintegrate. There is value for every phase of the life, death, rebirth cycle. And you are set free to resume this cycle to completion. And so it is. With all the assistance of all the beings that surround you, B is toning for the land all the time. But this is a human trauma. When we humans put trauma into the skin and the flesh of Gaia and her creatures, we have to take it out. It's like a law. If you created the damage, you have to heal it. These are like tumors and abscesses on Gaia's flesh from human atrocities, wars, slaughters of humans and animals and trees and everything. We're all linked. We're all one. I kill a tree. I kill myself. I kill someone of another race or country. I kill myself. There's no difference. Whoever is going around creating the trauma, which of course stems from our own trauma, from in utero, baby, early childhood. That trauma doesn't get healed, it doesn't get resolved. And then we all run around wreaking havoc with the power of adults and divine beings operating from the trauma of a four-year-old. 
And this is the consciousness shift that we all have to participate in on this planet, this amazing third dimension that gives us an opportunity to do things we can't do or experience on any other dimension. Oh. Such beauty, such physicality, such yin and yang, such light and dark, all the colors of the rainbow. It's not just white here. <laughs> it's not just beautiful white and gold bliss. And that's why we come here. But then we have our trauma. Most of us have purposely incarnated in a situation that results in trauma or leads to trauma. Why? Why do we want to experience that darkness? Why do we want to go through it? Again, because the cycle itself of death, birth, rebirth, growth, all the seasons have a value. They have a wisdom. They have something to impart that makes us bigger grows our creative source energy and our wisdom and our understanding of all things through all dimensions. So it's okay. But let's lean in and let's do the work to remove this trauma. Carrying some garbage I found. I'm like religious about picking up this farm garbage and getting it off the fields and away from the ground. 